it's, it's kind of similar to what Sean said, which is why I like the name of the event, Parallel Worlds. Like for me, when I was a child, um, I grew up on pop culture, like stuff from the 80s, like Back to the Future, Indiana Jones. Um, I remember watching like, like uh, Conan, all those kind of different uh, movies and, and shows. And I just remember saying, like when I got some age, like I would like to see characters that like us in no type of environments. You know, I didn't want to see something that's like Bebe's kids for, <laughs> for us in cartoons, you know, or us playing uh, basketball, something like that. I didn't want to see the norm. I want to see us in those different fantasy worlds. So, uh, you know, just me, like, by being exposed to those type of movies and shows and stuff like that, I wanted to have something for the next generation to be able to look at and see these characters <clears throat> and say, like, hey, these characters are cool no matter what nationality you are. I wanted them to be able to, like, look at the characters and be like, hey, I like this character. You know, uh, they could be any nationality and say, hey, I want to dress up as this character. Yeah. You know, so that's um, kind of what, like, inspired me and led me to want to make, uh, produce more characters that look like us and be able to expose it to, like, all generations and for it to be relatable to everyone around the world. Hey, everybody. It's Mamadou with Timbuktu. And tonight I'll be attending the Parallel Worlds Art Exhibition at Side Street Gallery featuring the artists Sean Tate and Sean Allen. It's going to be a great one, so stay tuned with more. And our question is... So yeah, man, I'm back here. The Parallel World Exhibition was an amazing time. There was just great artwork, a great discussion from the two artists, great people all together. Like I spent plenty of hours there just like really enjoying the overall ambiance. So first of all, I got to shout out the gallery. So the gallery owner, Mario Muhammad, she recently got over, took over that space. So if you're in the Philadelphia area, and you want to have a great time and really enjoy uh, art curation, come out to Side Street Gallery. It's located on 812 Chestnut Street, which is in the Center City area or the downtown area of Philadelphia. So let's talk about Parallel Worlds. So once overall, I was highly impressed with both of the artists. So the name of the event was very fitting for a couple of reasons. One, both artists had like the same first name, Sean. So we had Sean Tate, and then we had Sean Alwyn, right? And there was just a lot of similarities and not just one comically speaking the names, but also in just their own artistic journey and the themes and the messages they wanted to get across with their artwork. So both Sean's are uh, animators or like they focus on digital art within that comic book style, right? And really from their art artistry what they want to really impact or relay to us is themes from like their culture that they found significant to them So, first, let's start with Sean A., my brother from, who's originally from Barbados, and really what he explores in a lot of his artistry is really highlighting the stories of what he would describe like Nubian history, like which is another word for black, right? So a lot of these histories or these stories from like a Pan-African viewpoint. And he does a lot of themes of Afrofuturism. So this mixture of like science fiction plus science, um, plus on fantasy, excuse me, and like different Pan-African cultures. And he, there was one part in which he spoke about being this incorporation of a fantasy, a fantasy type Barbados, if you will, because, you know, that's originally where he's from. And just hearing about that story was very empowering. I purposely try to inject a brown face, a Nubian person in those stories that I want to tell. So 
I create superheroes. I create uh, um, stories of um, fantasy. Um, so, so I have this one story. There's this piece. I don't know if I included it in this one, but um, there's a story that's uh, is a fantasy story. And I always grew up loving fantasy. So I was like, hey, I'm going to do this sword and sorcery type of thing. And um, I got, and the people were going to be Nubian, black, when I say Nubian, right? And then I still had the, the typical, like, Eurocentric mindset. There was the king and queen and the kingdoms mm -hmm. and stuff. And I said, yo, what if I set this in a mythical version of Barbados? It's still the same aspects, right? It's still the sort of sorcery and fantasy and all that and magic and stuff. But now it takes on this whole new context. So for me, it's important to take my culture, um, the, the things that um, I grew up with, my own ideas, and basically I put it into one melting pot. So incorporating Afrofuturism, hip hop, Caribbean culture. And we have Sean Tate, you know. So Sean, he is also a big lover of anime, and one and there's like two important themes within a lot of his work. One, Sean Tate, he's a very devout Christian, and so he uses a lot of his pieces to like really highlight and convey stories from like the Old Testament and bring up different biblical figures who may be a bit unfamiliar to the masses. And so there was like a lot of that incorporation of faith within his work. And in addition, he really d uses his artistry to really tell the stories of different historical African figures, whether they may be like kings or queens of like certain empires within the continent to really just allow us to gain some familiarity with people from history that we should know that we may have not come across within like the traditional educational system. And so what was really interesting about Sean Tate, what I got to learn was he's actually a teacher. So it's very, you know, on brand, the fact that he uses a lot of teaching within his artistry. And, you know, shout out to his millions of students that came out to support as well. They were like all very talented, all within the arts and just like a great group of people. And so, yeah, overall, the Parallel Worlds was a great exhibition. I'm not sure how long it's going to stay up within the gallery. So if you're in Philadelphia, definitely check out the Side Street Gallery today. And tell them that Mamadou of Timbuktu sent you. But that's my first edition of this vlog series of myself and my co-founder Derek just really exploring different showcases within these different art markets. And so stay tuned. Make sure you can follow at the Timbuktu on all social media platforms or to learn more about this art journey. Thank you.